Hey everyone, welcome to another sneaker review with me. And today I have the last sneaker video of 2022, which appropriately is my favorite sneaker releases of 2022. So before we get started, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. A big percentage of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet. Hi, how are you doing? If you haven't yet, leave a like on this video if you like this type of content. That's what the like button's for. And I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. Please and thank you. Now I want to point out this is in no particular order. These are just the five sneakers that I personally would have wanted to pick up or like the title says probably my favorite release of 2022 and I know that there are gonna be a ton of sneakers that I didn't mention or missed out on just take this video as my own personal opinion although I do not doubt that some of you guys might have the same sneakers on your list but if I do miss out on some leave it in the comments down below on your favorite sneaker or even your own personal sneaker list so the first sneaker that I want to point out is kind of first off a group I want to say that this group of sneakers I should say has taken the world by storm actually Actually, it's funny enough it's sort of an anti sneaker and of course the trend that I'm talking about is the clog domination whether it be from the easy foam runners my personal favorite the rose in good faith plastic soles or personally what I chose for this specific list which I feel like is a favorite amongst everyone Crocs more specifically the Salehi Brambury collaborations I put the sneaker on the list because I feel like number one it uses the classic croc which I feel like is the king of kings when it comes to clogs number two it's such a dope collaboration so many good colorways the style is definitely on point and number three although it does sell out right away it is pretty accessible to get one in this color that you like of course with anything with hype it will still have resale on it or if you're someone like me who wants something cheaper and a little bit out there again my favorite the rose in good faith plastic soles either in the endless black the creme brulee or the classic white colorway are oddly enough made of recycled <laughs> soy so if you want to learn more about that go check out the review i have here on my channel also for the Soleil crocs i do have a review coming in 2023 so keep an eye out on that subscribe to the channel now some of you guys on the channel know that i am a nike guy through and through but i have figured that i should put in this specific adidas because it is one of my favorite colorways and it's probably one of the colorways that got me started into this specific sneaker line which is the yeezy 350 og turtle doves that we released again this year in 2022 so unfortunately for me i wasn't able to get anywhere near close grabbing the turtle doves which again is a goat colorway for the yeezy line when they announced that they were re-releasing this colorway this year everyone went crazy but at least now the market for this specific release has gone down a bit more making it a bit more obtainable versus the 2016 release then again with everything that's going on with kanye that we can't really get into on this channel it's gonna take forever to talk about and my own personal opinions i am on the fence on still wanting to cop this colorway because it was still at a time that kanye wasn't you know being Kanye. Like I mentioned previously, this colorway was one of the colorways that really dove me into the Yeezy line. If it wasn't for this colorway, I probably would have never picked up Adidas Yeezy ever. So it definitely deserves a spot on my list. Next up on my list is probably a sneaker company that definitely now has taken the world by storm, but maybe five years ago when I first started making sneaker reviews, probably no one would ever talk about. And I'm super happy about this because I am a fan of the underdog, but saying that this company is an underdog will probably be an understatement for just how big the impact they have on the sneaker game and that is new balance and the specific new balance that i chose to be on my favorite sneaker releases of this year is the 2002 r protection pack any of the colorways of course have sold out instantly and i chose this one specifically because it is supposed to be a general release sneaker and just the moment that i saw these personally i knew that new balance was taking a different approach especially with tenny santis taking over as creative director in the previous years. And of course, Teddy Santi's own line for New Balance is another sneaker that I would love to put on the list. But if I had to choose one or the other, the 2002R would be the one that I would choose just because of the idea that there's no real name attached to it. It's not a collaboration. It's basically a silhouette from New Balance that just came out super dope colorway, super dope style. That's something I'm looking forward to seeing when it comes to the sneaker game where it's not just about the name. It's not, not attached to any specific rapper, although there's a sneaker on this list that is sort of that type of vibe, but still nothing wrong with that. A simple sneaker was released to the public and everyone loved, everyone enjoyed. You can check out my own personal review of how lucky I was to cop the Mirage Greys on this channel. That was the previous sneaker review I believe that I'd made before this one. So go check out that video. Next up I believe is probably a big contender for sneaker of the year. Although there are some controversies behind it, I still think that it is a very, very tough contender when it comes to sneaker of the year. And that is my best Air Jordan release of the year, in my opinion, which is the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. Of course, when people 
found out that the original 1985 colorway Chicago colorway was re-releasing again in an OG high silhouette where the last release was one that I have in my collection luckily enough the 2015 edition everyone went crazy everyone was stoked to have the possibility of getting their own Chicago colorway in their collection especially for the new sneakerheads out there who have just gotten the appreciation of the OGs especially with this style of course the lost and found being a very vintage find coming from the name giving homage to OG that started it all with the Jordan line and even with the controversy that I was talking about bad quality control although it is supposed to look beat up and used and vintage I don't think you're supposed to have mold on a sneaker even with all that said still sold out everywhere still everyone is trying to cop their own pair even if it is the one of the largest Jordan releases of 2022 it might have been the largest release ever I think just because of that fact of course I am a sucker for a sneaker with a story with a sneaker with background and get that a sneaker that gives homage to the past so the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds definitely deserve a spot on this list and before I go into the last sneaker which I think is honestly my favorite release of the year I do want to give some shout outs some honorable mentions to some of the sneakers that I wasn't able to add on my list I would have made a top 10 but just the fact that I I needed to put one on top of the other was too crazy to take this honorable mentions list as the sneakers that i wanted to cop and i would love to have in my collection the first one which is a callback to what i was mentioning with a sneaker being attached to a name although his name isn't as prominent in this one it's more of his brand it is the nike nocta collaboration on the air terras i talked about this sneaker in the first sneaker video of the year which was the most anticipated sneakers of 2022 and i wasn't wrong with this one although i was surprised with some colorways still sitting the colorway that i wanted which is the white pair definitely sold out aside from the name attached to it which is drake which i am a big fan of probably one of my favorite rappers i'm very very curious on how it feels on foot how comfortable it is i'm very attracted to the style of it the very retro platform style so that's still a sneaker that i am trying to hunt down that deserves at least an honorable mention here on my list the next one is a re-release once again jordan coming back with what the fans want the re-releases of the og colorways or the og styles specifically the air jordan 3 fire reds i probably mentioned before was my first ever air jordan 3 and i love the colorway it was simple it was the chicago colorways this one this air jordan fire red though they come out more closer to the og one versus the one that i had was more of a retro and more prominently what i noticed was the cement on the ones that released this year was closer to the the white cements that it's more of a gray on top of black cracking the one that i had which was i believe a 2013 one had more of a black on black cement pattern on the rubber panels of the shoe so i don't mind either one of course i sold the first one because it was a size too small so luckily enough for the air jordan 3 i still see them sitting on shelves i still see people sleeping on them so that's just gonna give me an opportunity as soon as i can to pick up and re-add it to my own collection last but not least another honorable mention that i think is a dope sneaker is the nike concepts orange lobster so another addition to the lobster line that concepts is famous for when it comes to nike collaborations a nike sb should i remind you it just sucks that the release was a little bit hectic they tried their best to avoid getting as many bots and getting the sneaker out into the right hands but unfortunately bots still got through and even with the re-release it was a little bit shoddy but it just goes to show how much this sneaker legacy is embedded in the sneaker culture and almost everyone wants them actually definitely everyone who is a sneakerhead especially an SB head would want this in their collection and finally last but not least probably my favorite sneaker release of the year which I feel like a lot of people will be surprised of but it was the sneaker that I feel like I had the most effort trying to cop but failed each and every time you guys might have seen it here on stream it is the Nike Tom Sachs collaboration, the Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe or the Nike Craft Work Shoe. Tom Sachs, a big collaborator here with Nike, more specifically for his own silhouette, the Mars Yards and the Overshoe. So at the beginning of the pandemic, created the Nike Test Wear program where he had test out specific sneakers, prototype sneakers in different situations, whether it be for work, for play, for working out, for just daily use. If you won in the program, they would send you shoes, you would give them information, more testing on the sneaker, and then you would send it back. And with all that information, they came up with this general purpose shoe. I mean, if you think about it, the true everyday 
Bay sneaker, which is what always attracted me to it because of course you guys know me, comfort over everything, sneaker with a story, a sneaker that you could wear both on the red carpet or in the gym. It just super attracted me. And with this sneaker, there's different colorways that dropped, but I am always after the first colorway, the white, brown, and blue pair, which is funny enough, the most dropped colorway that came out for this silhouette and always sells out and I never get my pair. It's cool that Tom Sachs is saying that this sneaker is meant to release seasonally or every few months. So you know that there will always be stock for it or that you know that they will always make this sneaker. It's almost an anti-general release sneaker. And hopefully in 2023, we can review not only that sneaker, not only all of the sneakers on my list, but more sneakers to come. That is it for this video, guys. What do you think of my list? Leave a comment down below once again on your personal favorite sneaker of the year, maybe your own personal list. We could talk about it in the comments down below. I love conversing with you guys there. Follow me on Instagram at Albi Peralta. I'm a bit more personal there. I post stories almost every day and I post there when I have a new YouTube video up. So it's one way to get notified. Other than of course, subscribing to the channel, guys. It really does help a lot. And check out the other videos on my channel as the banner says i have anything and everything in between on there that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you all so much for an awesome 2022 and i look forward to 2023 with you guys happy holidays and i will see you guys when i see you bye guys